Hi everyone, I'm David Kingsbury from Opus and today we are gonna be going through a glute workout. So, here we go. First of all, let's, let's have a lie down on your side on the mat. And the first exercise will be the clam. So bend your arm and support your head just like so. Think about being really straight through the spine. And then the first thing to do is lift your top knee away from the bottom one, just like so, and then slowly lower it back down. So it seems like a really easy exercise to start with, but it's a really nice one to get your hips warm. And the muscle group that we're trying to work is right on the outside of your hip here, just on the top of your bum muscle. Now there's a few things to make sure we get right here. First of all is to keep that top hip slightly rolled forwards. And also just to make sure you've got a bit of space underneath the rib cage. If I pull my t-shirt, you can see there's a gap underneath the mat. That's what we want to try and maintain to make sure that your hips are nice and level. So just another 10 seconds to make sure that those muscles are firing. Go as high as you can on every repetition. And we're going to hold this last one for the last three seconds. Three, two, one, and then relax. Very good. Now we're going to take the top leg, the same leg out to straight. Draw the toes up towards you. Again, let's maintain that bit of space between you and the mat. This time we're going to lift the leg high as you can go and then slowly lower it all the way back down. So it's not a huge movement. Lift and then lower. And again, what we're really trying to focus on are these muscles right here, just on the top of your hip and the outside edge of your bum muscle. You should breathe out when you lift and then in when you lower. And I can start to feel that muscle just fire up a little bit just to let me know it's working. Breathing out when we lift, in as we lower. Last one now. Now when we get to the top, we're gonna to hold it up there. So this is the point where the muscle should be biting and we go into a nice circle here. So the foot should be just above the height of your hip. And when you drag round into the circle, try and take the foot behind your body so the joint goes into an extension. And breathing for this one is just really normal. Don't need to worry too much. Just make sure you're not holding your breath, but go as high as you can this way and as far back as you can without feeling like you're gonna roll over. Good. Always thinking about your alignment as well. If you start to collapse in here, you may start to feel the front of the leg and that's not what we want. All in the back here. That's it, you can really feel that muscle start to burn. Now we're into the last 10 seconds, so really high on those lifts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then rest. Good, just let that leg come down. A little shake if you want to, just to release it off. And we're now gonna go into your glute bridge. So we're gonna be lying on your back. Oop, just sort the mat out. And just relax your shoulders once again. Bring your feet down so they're flat on the ground. Your fingertips should just about be able to touch your heels. So bring your feet in just a little bit. Now from here, we exhale, push the hips up as high as you can go. Pause and just tuck your shoulder blades underneath you at the top there. And then as you inhale, we lower all the way back down. Now let's push as hard up again as we can. Pause once you get to this neutral line here. So the hips, the shoulders and the knees are all in alignment. And then roll back down through the spine. So this one we're gonna be going through a two minute exercise. Just a little pause at the top each time you get up there. Just allow those muscles to contract and then start to lower. And it's really beneficial on this one to think about the way that your spine moves. So as you roll up, lift your glutes first or your hips first, roll up through the lower back. And then when you get to the top, we're gonna drop the chest bone first, then the belly button, and then the pelvis back down to the start. Good, we're into the last 20 seconds. And you should start to feel those muscles just under here now, probably more on the left side, given that we did those exercises at the beginning.
Good, now keep pushing through. We're into the last 10 seconds. Last five. So keep it going, we're almost there. Four, three, two, one, and then relax. Very good. Okay, so we're gonna roll onto your right side. The next exercise is a modified side plank, but we're gonna bring in those glutes into this exercise as well. So start with your knees bent, and your feet should point back behind you, and the elbow sits underneath your shoulder. Now we're gonna raise up to here, and reach the top hand up towards the sky. So there's your half side plank. Now keep your heels touching, but lift your top knee to here. Pause, and then lower all the way back down. So we've gone back into that clam that we did at the beginning, but we're now working hard through the obliques and also through the muscles around your shoulder on that right side as well. Exhale as you lift, and then inhale as you go down. If you wanna work a bit harder, change it from here and lift up and down for the next 10 seconds, but really push up through your right side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then relax. Whew, good, I felt that one. So let's stand up. And the next exercise now is your crossover lunge or a curtsy lunge. So we're gonna place your left foot. We've just been following that on the left side. Left foot stays planted. The right foot now is gonna come round to here. So as I look down on a clock face, it's gonna come round to about eight o'clock. Drop the rear knee down to the floor and then bring it all the way back up to your start position. You don't have to go all the way down to touch the floor if you struggle or you might lose your balance. That's perfectly normal if you haven't done this one before. So take your time. You can always hold on to something if you need to if you're at home. The focus for this one is trying to sit back onto the heel of this foot. And that's where we're gonna put all of the work into this side. One more repetition, and then for the last one, we're gonna hold at the bottom. So 10 seconds, here we go, as low as you can. Nine, eight, seven. The upper body is nice and tall. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Very good. So we've now worked on one side of the body. Those exercises now, we're gonna do exactly the same again, but on the other side. So let's start with your clam once again. So you're lying down on your side. Your forearm just goes underneath your head to support the neck. And then once you're ready, we begin. Exhale, lift up the leg. And then inhale as you lower down. Now again, it's really normal when you start to really isolate muscles like this, that one side just doesn't really seem to fire as much as the other side. It might be a bit worse. It might hurt a bit more. It's really normal to have that disparity, disparity between each side. We've got the gap underneath your rib cage again, thinking about that spinal alignment. Good, just the last couple of reps now. Five, four, three, two. On this next one then, let's lift and hold. And we're gonna extend that top leg all the way out to straight. Draw the toes towards you again. And you should start at a point where your foot's just level with the hip. Then we exhale, lift the hip and then lower. Exhale and lift, and then lower. And try and think about your whole body here. You're trying to be as long as you can through the spine, not even trying to move the hip girdle. We're just moving that leg, and it's as high as you can. You can really start to feel that in here now. Great, last 10 seconds. Stretching that leg out as far as you can. Great stuff. Now on this next one, we're gonna raise the leg up high as you can go, and then we start those circles. We're into the last one in this position. Around the size of a tennis ball, it doesn't need to be too big, but the focus is on which muscle we're using. Again, really targeting that top side of the hip. Too much longer to go now until we're into your glute bridge for the second time. Keeping that space between your rib cage and the ground. 
Good, keep working guys, a little bit higher if you can. Really push it now. Last 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then relax, well done. Good, little tap and a rub again. If that muscle's sore, it should be. Mine is. Now we're gonna pull the shorts down, relax. And then we'll get straight into those bridges. So from here, push through the feet, lift up. Little pause at the top, and then lower all the way back down. Now again, my feet are a little bit too far out here. I'm gonna bring them in. If they are too far, you're likely to feel the back of your legs. So if you feel it here more than your glutes, just make sure you bring your feet nice and close to your hips. Again, breathing out. And then we breathe in as we lower down. Really focusing on that peel of the spine on the way up and the way down. So this one's two minutes in total. So enough time to really take those muscles towards fatigue ahead of the last two next. Good, now when you get tired and you stop, to, or sometimes your concentration wanders, try not to push too high so that you arch your back. We're just going up to neutral. We'll start to feel those muscles just underneath here now warm up. Again, that real clench at the top. So focus on which muscles we're trying to work. All in your glutes. You've got 10 seconds to go on this one. Let's push through. Hold it here now. Pushing up through the feet high as you can. Last five, four, three, two, one. And then we relax. Whew. Okay, so we're gonna roll onto your side now into that half side plank position. So again, let's move straight into it this time. Bring the knees back, they're aligned through, shoulders and hips. And then we lift up into side plank. Top hand reaches up here. And then we lift that top knee. Now carry on guys, you remember this from before. Carry on with the movement. What's important also is that you lift up here, pushing through the left knee to lift this hip away from the floor, as well as taking that right side up as well. Focus on this top hand, reach it up to the sky, and that will open your posture. Should start to feel that side again, that glute on this leg. 10 seconds to go. Again, push up, reach up with that top hand. Last five now. Four, three, two, one, and then we rest. Great stuff, let's jump up. So we're gonna go into your curtsy lunge now, going in the opposite direction. So this time the right foot will stay where it is. We're just gonna plant that in front of you. As we look down on our clock face, we're now going to four o'clock with the left side. We drop down. If you can touch the knee on the floor, that's great. If not, if you're restricted through the hip flexibility here, just go as low as you can. Again, as much weight on the heel of your right foot as you can and your hips shouldn't twist too much. So we're avoiding coming here. We wanna try and close that angle so we face straight ahead. Good, we're into the last 10 seconds. Great stuff guys, the last one then. So here we go, five seconds, we drop down as low as we can, upper body tall, and five, four, three, two, one, and then we rest. Great work. Okay, so give the legs a little shake off. We should have felt that one through here on both sides when we did it. You may have also felt the front of the legs here. Now the next exercise will be a lateral lunge. Okay, so we're moving off of that straight line, which we often do. We walk in the same direction, we run in the same direction, and we're gonna step out here into a lateral lunge, back into the center, and then across to the other side. Now again, focus on keeping everything facing forward. So your knees align straight through the center of the foot. 
Upper body stays fairly tall and your weight should go on the outside edge of your foot as you push back through. You can probably hear my heart rate is up a little bit. My breathing rate's up, which is good, but we're still being really controlled and working on those specific muscles, the outside of the hips, but now bringing in a little bit through the front of the legs as well. And you'll feel if you step wide enough that you get a good stretch on the inside of that straight leg. Into the last 10 seconds. So as low as you're able to go through those legs. Good, one more on each side. Here we go, last one. And then relax. Very good. So that's the lateral lunge. You've just done 90 seconds on that one. We're also gonna do 90 seconds on your squat pattern now. So stand just in the middle of your mat or in your space. Turn your feet out sort of 30 degrees or so with your feet just outside shoulder width. And we're just gonna lower down. Once you get to here, just pause. Have a look at your knee position. Your knee should never be inside the line of your feet. Just pull those out. Sit back towards the back half of your foot and then push back up to straight. We're not gonna rush this one. We're gonna go down slowly and then push back through. Now carry on in that position. We're just gonna have a look from the side now. We're in that same position with the toes. What we're trying to avoid is curving forwards here. Okay, so as we go down, lengthen the space between your chest bone and your pubic bone here, and try and maintain that space as you go down. And it doesn't necessarily matter how far down you go. We're just gonna try and work on those muscles that we were working earlier here, but also now the front of the legs. Good, so I'll come back in front. If you wanna work that little bit harder, you can of course just pick up the speed. Great stuff, as we get tired, keep your focus on those knees again. We've just got 10 seconds to go. And five, four, three, two, one more time and one, relax. Well done, again, so heart rate should be up, breathing rate should be up. You might even start to sweat a little bit, which is great. And we're now gonna go down into a slightly different position. And that's gonna be your plank with a leg raise. So we're gonna bring in your core muscles into this section, but still working on those muscles back here, okay? So into a straight arm plank position. So hands about shoulder width apart, go up onto your toes, and then draw in through your abs. Okay, so your pelvis is in that nice neutral position. And all we do from here then, clench your glute and lift the leg away from the floor. Slowly, lower back down. And then we do exactly the same on the other side. Trying not to let the hips rock from side to side. Lift, lower. Into the last 10 seconds. Really focus on that squeeze. And five, four, three, two, one, and then we rest. Good, let's drop down to the knees. That's where we need to be for the next one. Your hands are gonna be about shoulder width apart. Same position for the knees. And all we're gonna do from here, again, just keep your core muscles active so that you don't overarch the back and just raise your left leg up to here. We're then gonna push up without going into an arch of the back and then back down. And we're gonna do this one fairly fast, but it's only a really small movement. If you imagine you've got a tennis ball behind your knee, squeeze onto the tennis ball. If you've got one, you could use it. And just lift that leg up towards the sky. 10 more seconds, then we're gonna change legs. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good, quick change over now. That right side goes up, good. So we're trying to push that leg as high as you can. It's not gonna burn in the same way that the other muscles did when we were laying on your side. It's a slightly different muscle. Your glute max in this position. Last 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. 
Very good. Well done, guys. That was your glute workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're going to do that again this week, just make sure that you have a day or two's rest in between, perhaps work a different muscle group tomorrow, and then come back to it in a couple of days. Thanks for watching.